Hello, Bronx Middle School Math. Today, we are continuing with triangles. We are diving deeper into the idea of triangles and especially angles. So the goals for lesson eight are, you will be able to remember and know that the broad name for any shape with three sides, triangle. Just like the broad name for any shape with four sides is a quadrilateral you'll be able to classify and understand scalene, isosceles, equilateral, and right triangles. Scholars will also understand that triangles can have multiple classifications just as quadrilaterals. Remember what we said in lesson seven, an equilateral triangle, which is a triangle with all three sides that are congruent, is also in the isosceles triangle family because the rule for isosceles is that it has two sides, at least two sides that are congruent. So the equilateral triangle meets the rules to be in the isosceles triangle family. But y'all already know that. So let's go on to some more goals that we're going to reach by the end of lesson eight. Scholars will understand that a right triangle has exactly one 90 degree angle. An obtuse triangle has one angle that is greater than 90 degrees. An acute triangle has three angles that are each less than 90 degrees. Scholars must understand there is no triangle that is both a right triangle and an acute triangle. By definition, an acute triangle has to have all angles be less than 90 degrees. But a right triangle has one angle that is exactly 90 degrees. That's what we're going to know and understand by the end of this lecture and all the activities. So let's begin with a little review. This is going to be easy for y'all, so try not to fall asleep. So scaling and triangle. That's a triangle that has no equal size. All sides are different lengths. So let's draw. Sorry, A, B, and C. Notice how all three sides are different lengths. They're, all three sides are not congruent. Isosceles triangle has at least two sides that are congruent in length. Let's draw again, A, B, C. Notice how side A and B are congruent to each other. It's really tall, that triangle is tall. That's because A and B are equal to each other, but C is smaller, it's shorter. The length is smaller than A and B. Equilateral triangle has all three sides are congruent. All three sides are the same length. So now we're not just focusing on the length or the sides, but we're going to be focusing on the angles. So we went over this in lesson seven, so y'all know what a right triangle is. A right triangle is a right angle that has exactly one 90 degree angle. So it's a triangle with a right angle. Y'all know that. Obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle has one angle that is greater than 90 degrees. So look, this triangle right here, no right angles, but this obtuse angle right here, that is greater than 90 degrees. So if we wanted to be very specific about this triangle, we would notice that it's obtuse. It has an obtuse angle and it's scalene because all three links are different. And cherry on top, triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Oh, sorry, y'all. Okay. An acute triangle has three angles that are each less 
than 90 degrees. So for a triangle to be considered acute, all three angles must be less than 90 degrees. So let's look at this. Is this angle less than 90 degrees? This one right here. Is that one less? Yes. So it's acute. Is this one less than 90 degrees? You know it. It's acute. Is this one less than 90 degrees? It is less than 90 degrees. Acute. So all three are less than 90. This is an acute triangle. Isn't it cute? Same with this one. Less than 90. Less than 90. Less than 90. Acute. Ain't that cute? There is no triangle that is both a right and an acute triangle. Why? Because remember, for a triangle to be acute, all angles have to be less than 90 degrees. So yes, if we look at this front one, these angles right here, those are acute. So why can't this triangle be acute? Because of this. Remember what we said, all three angles must be acute for it to be an acute triangle. Because there is a right angle, it's a right triangle. By definition, an acute triangle has to have all angles be less than 90 degrees. So an acute triangle has to have three acute angles. But a right triangle has to have one right angle. So let's review that really quickly. An acute angle has to have three acute angles. But a right, ang a right triangle has to have a one right angle. Triangles checkpoint. Let's make sure we know, we, let's review. Is it possible for triangles to both be obtuse? but only one is an isosceles obtuse triangle, while the other is a scalene obtuse triangle? What is the rule for a triangle must follow to be classified as an acute triangle? What is, th what is the rule a triangle must follow to be classified as a right triangle? So think about these questions and press start when you have your answers ready. Is it possible for two triangles to both be obtuse triangles, but one is isosceles obtuse while the other is scalene obtuse triangle? Yes. I found this great picture to help us dissect. So let's do it one by one. Okay. So this picture, we'll start with the triangle on the left. So we can see that all three sides, let's label A, B, C. I can see that all three sides are different lengths. So I'm going to draw on it to help us out. So I put the dashes to indicate that all three lengths are different. And let's go angle by angle. So angle C, angle B, angle A. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Wait one second. There we go. I switched angle B and A. Uh, my bad. We learn, we grow, we do better. Okay. So we can see that all side links are different. So it's scalene and it has three sides. So it's a triangle. But is it obtuse? So angle C is acute. 
Look at that. It's, it's a cute. Angle B is a cute. But angle A is obtuse. So because all three sides, it can't be acute. Oh, I am in the wrong text color. So we know that this triangle cannot be acute because all three angles are not acute. Look at that. Angle A is obtuse. It is greater than 90 degrees. So this is an obtuse scalene triangle. Okay, let's go to this triangle now. So I'm going to label all the sides, A, B, C. And even with it just using my eyes, I can tell A and B are congruent to each other. So I'm putting one dash on each one. So angle A, angle B, and angle C. And one thing you may notice is that I, I labeled this one angle A because it's across from side A. Angle B because it's across from side B. Angle C because it's across from side C. Okay, so angle A is acute. Angle B is acute, but angle C is obtuse. So this is an obtuse triangle. And it's also isosceles because side A and B are congruent. So let's write this down. So obtuse because angle C, isosceles side A and B, and triangle three sides. What is the rule a triangle must follow to be classified as an acute triangle? I know y'all know. All three angles must be acute. So not one, not two, but all three. What is a rule a triangle must follow to be classified as a right triangle? Must have one 90 degree angle. But is it possible for a triangle to have two 90 degree angles? Oh, I spelled triangle wrong. My bad, y'all. Hmm. Let's think about that and keep that in mind while we're going through this lesson. All right, guess my rule. So, these triangles over here follow the rules, but these don't. So what would the rule be? Well, I noticed that all these triangles over here, all these triangles have right angles. These triangles over here, all these triangles are acute because all three angles are less than 90 degrees. So the rule must be that the triangle must have one 90 degree angle. Yes, the rule is a triangle with one angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. And remember, exactly 90 degrees, right angle. Next, okay, follows the rule doesn't follow the rule. Okay, let's pause the video and think about what these have in common and what these don't have in common. So the triangles that follow the rule, 
they are all acute, and they are all equilateral. The ones that don't follow the rule are scalian. This one right here, let me draw. This triangle is a right scalene because of that right angle. But this one is just scalene, and it is acute because all three angles are less than 90 degrees. So the rule must be either acute or equilateral. The rule, a triangle with equal sides, equilateral triangle. All right, good job, y'all. Next. Okay, let's figure out and write down what all these triangles that follow the rule have in common, and then write down what the ones that don't follow the rule have in common. So I went and labeled each triangle, and you can see the ones that follow the rule. It The rule... It can't be anything to do with sides because all three of these triangles are different. Like we have isosceles, equilateral, scalene. So the rule can't be, oh, all triangles must be isosceles. We can tell that's not true because there's an equilateral and there's a scalene. So it has to do with angle lengths. And one thing that all these triangles have in common when it comes to angles is that these are all acute triangles. The ones that don't follow the rule, again, it can't be about side lengths because we have isosceles and we have scalene triangles. So it must be about angles. So I see right triangles and I see obtuse triangles. So all of the triangles that do not follow the rules are 90 degrees or greater. So the rule must be that, that the triangles must be acute. Let's check. A triangle with all three angles less than 90 degrees. Yep, that's an acute triangle. Guess my rule. Okay, let's pause the video and get, have your answer ready, and I'll provide the answer at the end. So for this activity, it really helps me to go triangle by triangle and label each one and then identify the common thread. So we can see, let me label each triangle. Lab triangle one. Triangle two, three, four, five. Okay, so triangle one is acute scalene, and triangle two is obtuse scalene. But both follow the rule, so we must know that since they're both not agreeing on the angles, it must be that the rule has to do with side lengths. So the rule must be that both triangles are scalene. Let's go to the triangles that do not follow the rule. Triangle 3 is an acute lateral, 4 acute isosceles, 5 right isosceles. So again, the common thread isn't with the angles because 3 and 4 are acute, but 5 is right. So, but all three of these triangles are in the isosceles family, having to do with side links. So this slide is about side length. Make sure we are looking at both. You want to look at both the angle and side before guessing the rule. But we can tell that the triangles that follow the rule are scalene and the ones that do not follow the rule are in the isosceles family. Let's check our answer. Boom, baby. A triangle with no equal sides. Scalene triangle. Okay, let's do the same thing. Let's go triangle by triangle and label, give it its full name to see what we can come up with. Okay, this is an obtuse scalene because none of the sides are the same and there's that obtuse angle. Same for this one, obtuse scalene. So both of these are two scalene. Hmm, interesting. Well, this one is going to be acute equilateral because all three sides are congruent and all three angles are less than 90 degrees. This one is an acute isosceles because 
two sides are the same length, and all three angles are acute. Let's go to this one. All three angles are acute, but all three side lengths are different, so that's going to be acute scalene. And then this one is isosceles because two congruent sides, but right angle. Okay, so right isosceles. So what do all these have in common? Okay, well, it can't. So acute, 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 but right. Let me label these so we know which ones we're talking about. One, two, three three, four, five, six. Okay, so both one and two are obtuse scalene, but let's try to figure out what the rule is being specific about. So three and four and five are cute, but six is right. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm guessing the rule has to be, it has to be obtuse. Because the rule can't be, it must be scalene, because look, there's five is scalene. So let's see what the rule is. Yes, a triangle with exactly one angle that is greater than 90 degrees, obtuse. Good job, y'all. That one almost got us. Okay, so let's do some always, sometimes, never statements. Justify your reasoning using words, numbers, or pictures. So let's go with the first one. An equilateral triangle is blank. A right triangle. An obtuse triangle is blank. An isosceles triangle. An acute triangle is blank, a scalene triangle. Pause the video, get your answers and evidence ready, and we'll go through this. An equilateral triangle is blank, a right triangle. Is that possible? Can an equilateral triangle be a right triangle? An equilateral triangle cannot be a right triangle, but why? In an equilateral triangle, all angles are congruent, just as the side lengths. So all the side lengths are congruent, and all the angles are acute. Since all three side lengths are congruent, this makes sense because the angle measures in any triangle not only an equilateral triangle, but all the angles add up to 180 degrees. So you know a triangle has a total of 180 degrees. So all three angles add up. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. So we know that an equilateral triangle is never a right triangle. An equilateral triangle is always going to be acute. Because all three angles need to add up to 180 degrees. An obtuse triangle is blank and isosceles triangle. Well, remember what we said? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm sorry, y'all. Remember what we said with this? So this is an obtuse triangle right here, and it's isosceles, obtuse, isosceles. But this one is also obtuse, but it's scalene. So that tells us sometimes. An acute triangle is blank, a scalene triangle.
Do y'all remember some of the triangles that we saw up above? Here, let me go to them. So an acute triangle is blank, a scalene triangle. Well, here we have acute isosceles, number four. Number three is acute equilateral. And number five is acute scalene. So this tells us that acute triangles are sometimes scalenes. So an acute triangle can be equilateral, it can be isosceles, and it can be scalene. But remember, an equilateral triangle is always going to be acute. But acute triangles are sometimes scalenes, they're sometimes isosceles, and they're sometimes equilateral. So let's go all the way down. An acute triangle is sometimes And here are our final answers. Great job, guys. We got all three correct. Here is our final explore problem. Sadie is cutting a quadrilateral in half to make two triangles. If she wants to make two scalene triangles, what, what quadrilaterals could she draw? Justify your reasoning. Well, let's do some vocab really quickly to help us break down this problem. Okay, quadrilateral. A shape with four sides. Triangle. Shape with three sides. Scalene triangle. A triangle with no congruent sides. All three sides are different lengths. Okay, so now we have broken down the words in this problem that might mess us up. So we know that Sadie is cutting a shape that has four sides to make two triangles. But she wants to make two triangles that, that do not have any congruent sides, where all three sides are different lengths. So what quadrilateral would she use? Well, let's break down the quadrilaterals. We could have, oh, I thought I was on drawing. My bad, y'all. We could have a square. We could have a rhombus. That's a terrible rhombus, but we could have a parallelogram. We could have a trapezoid. We could have a rectangle. Which one of these quadrilaterals could Sadie use to make a scalene triangle? This one might take us a while. So let's pause the video and explore. Cut, you should draw all these on your own piece of paper and cut them in half. Do the work and figure out if we would come up with an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle. See what we can come up with. When you're ready, start the video. So Sadie is cutting a quadrilateral in half to make two triangles. If she wants to make two scalene triangles, what quadrilaterals can she use? Okay, well, let's break this down. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six different quadrilaterals here, or six different images. One and two are both squares. But we are going to take this step by step to see why these do not work. So one and two are both squares. Why don't these work? These don't make scalene and triangles. Number one, she cuts it in half. If Sadie cuts a square in half, that makes an isosceles triangle. Because look, these side links, side A, B, and C, are congruent. So let's write this down. Mm, we might want to make that a bit smaller so it can fit on the page. I'm a singer. So a square in half makes two isosceles triangles. Side A and B are congruent. But then Sadie tries again. She tries with the square again. And that's number two. 
What happens when she does it four ways? She cuts number two, she cuts a square in four ways, but it still doesn't work. We can see here that all three sides are congruent when she does that. So congruent, congruent. So when she cuts the square in fours, she makes it equilateral. So let's type that up. I want to, let's just add to this one. Now, again, the dashes aren't on these triangles, so we have to use our eyes, but we can look and see that all three sides on square number two are congruent. So, oh, I thought I was on drawing. <laughs> A, B, C. We can see that A, B, and C are congruent to each other. That makes it an equilateral triangle. Let's go to shape three. So shape three is a rhombus. But why is it a rhombus? Because A, B, C, D, A and C are parallel, and they're congruent. But we'll save that to last because that's a detail that can wait. D and B are parallel. And all four sides are congruent to each other. All four sides have the same length. So when you cut a rhombus in half, you make two isosceles triangles. Notice how length A and length C are congruent to each other. Side B is longer than both of those, so it's isosceles. And again, shape four, we discussed that in shape one. A square and half is going to make isosceles triangle, just as the rhombus did. Five, same story. It makes two isosceles triangles. In C, I mean in six, six is a kite because these are adjacent, these are congruent and adjacent to each other, and these are congruent and adjacent to each other. So if you cut a kite, you can't cut it in half. This one isn't cut in half. If they would have cut it down this way, it would have made a scalene triangle. But they decided to cut the top off. And that would make two isosceles triangles. So we see here that all these triangles are isosceles except for triangle or shape number two, where we get four equilaterals. But that didn't follow the rule of cutting it in half. That cut it in fours. So it didn't follow the rules and it still didn't give us two scalene triangles. So six almost had it because if it would have gone right down the middle, we would have had a scalene. But they decided to cut off the top. So they almost had it, but not quite. Which quadrilateral will work? A rectangle. If you cut a, re a rectangle in half, you're going to get two scalene triangles. Because look at this, all sides are different lengths. All sides are different lengths. So with that problem, it takes trial and error. Because I know I had to draw out all these shapes. I had to draw out squares, rhombuses, kites, trapezoids, parallelograms to find one and cut them in half to find one that made two scalene triangles. So remember, y'all, there's no overlap between angle classifications. So as a shape could be equilateral and isosceles, that is not the case for angles. They are either an obtuse triangle or acute or a right triangle. Triangles can be classified mostly, most precisely by using angle measurements and side lengths. Remember, we want to use its full name. So say a right scalene triangle or a obtuse scalene triangle. We use the full name. So by the end of lesson seven and eight, y'all should be, un be able to understand that a right triangle has exactly one 90 degree angle. An obtuse triangle has one angle that is greater than 90 degrees.
but an acute triangle has to have three angles that are each less than 90 degrees. And all this is because it needs to add up to 180 degrees. The entire triangle needs to equal 180. A scholar must understand there is no triangle that is both a right triangle and acute triangle. Because remember, an acute triangle has to have all three angles that are less than 90 degrees. But a right triangle only needs one right angle. And that goes back to 180. All right, y'all. Make sure you do your homework and review. Review, review, review. Practice. Nobody ever regretted getting more practice in. Remember to be your best every day and every way. Y'all have a great day.